بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to understand how the ospf works now basically ospf process is very lengthy we'll try to get into more details as we progress now this is like an overview of how the ospf works like the entire ospf process goes in three steps or three phases we can say like the first step is they will establish the neighbor relationship like if you take an example this is my topology now in this topology let's say i got a router one now the router one will establish the neighbor relationship with the neighbors like these two routers becomes neighbors first and they establish some neighbor relationship and they build some neighbor table and that is like the first step so similar way all the routers will try to establish the neighbor relationship by sending some hellos we'll try to get into that more in detail in the later on sections as i said this is a little bit overview on the entire process what we are going to see in the next uh, little bit more details okay so just like you got a new neighbor uh, you got a new friend probably you'll try to establish the neighbor relationship by sending some hellos and once we are establishing the neighbor relationship once we do that then they will start exchanging their own databases so technically we call them as linked state database that's what we call it as and uh, exchanging the linked state database is nothing but now these two neighbors once they become neighbors they will exchange their own uh, information like whatever the uh, information they have probably the routes they will exchange with with all so it's a method of sending out their own lss to neighbors they will send this uh, lsa that is link state advertisements to its neighbors like this will send to this net router and that router will forward it to next router like that it will go on okay so once they advertise their own lss to all the neighbors and once they come to know then probably they will based on this lss again they will figure out how many possible routes are there and based on that they will decide any one as a best route again the best route is calculated based on the metric as i said uh, there is a separate formula for that we'll talk about that in the metric section later on and this best route will be installed in the routing table and this best route will be used to forward the traffic so which means all the traffic which is being forwarded it will use this route as long as it is working so if this route fails and it will start forwarding from the second best route automatically so at the end the the main purpose of doing the routing is to forward the traffic from one net one network to another network choosing the best routes and in order to decide the best route before that there are some specific process happens here like initially they must establish the neighbor relationship and then they will exchange their own databases and based on that database they will figure out how many possible routes you have how the network is connected some information on that and then finally they will figure out okay there are multiple paths now which is the best route decide that best route and write down that best route in the routing table and then forward the traffic